here. You don't need it anymore. Well, not until next time. Anyway, this is iMovie, and what would happen, uh, you would have seen either a new event down here, or you would have seen, like, uh... Well, it would have been added to an older event. Now, these are just recorded raw events. Now, another thing that I wanted to uh, go over was the p -p -p recording, or the, well, yeah, but recording your voice, whether you want to do it live or after. Um, basically, if you want to do it after, it's really simple. Uh, you just push this. Now, this is, of course, after you've built your uh, project from your... Okay, let me show you how to do that first, because this is my sweet code in. Let's just say um, you pretty much want to select what you want. Basically, what happens, this is your raw footage. This isn't organized into a project, because down here, this is the total time for it, 5151. It's almost an hour. So pretty much what you want to do is select everything you want. Let's just say you want 1 minute and 31 seconds. And then after that, you had like some type of um, random battle that you don't want to put in. Instead of just editing it out, all you got to do is just include the footage that doesn't contain the random battle. And then you'd press this button right here, which is the import or add selection to project. The project is going to be your finished video. All you got to do is just finalize the project with some commentary, and then you'll be all set. Now, for Capture Card, it or Capture Device, rather, it's harder to record live than it is after. Because, like I said, all you need is to do the record mic. Choose your sources right here. You can obviously see that my internal mic is working. You got noise reduction, voice enhancements, really nice. And then all you gotta do is just click. Hell, we'll do it now. Welcome back! <laughs> Alright. And yeah, it'll bug out because... You have modified your project? Nah, let's undo it. There you go. But that wouldn't happen if you didn't have another voice over there. And then you'd have your finished audio track that looks like this. And in your audio and video track for your game would be in the same clip. So, and that don't worry about that, because that won't be out of sync at all with the canopus. All you got to do is just sync up your uh, commentary track. Now, if you want to do it live, uh, Windows, or, ugh, sorry, uh, Macintosh has this really nice feature. And I'm going to show it to you right now, I think. interesting is it lagging out because I'm recording it well, okay now you have expose which pretty much opens all of your uh, programs in one pane or one pane rather and here see I'm so used to doing this with my mouse I totally forgot the uh, trackpad shortcut but pretty much what can happen I'll just do the command over you have four uh, slots, or four spaces, rather. I know it's not really that impressive now, but if I did it the other way, it would be, like, mad impressive. Uh, okay, whatever. But pretty much what we want, if you want to record live during the recording, let's just say you still have the canopus uh, in the Firewire port and you're actually recording. Just use GarageBand. And what GarageBand does, it pretty much does the same thing as Audacity, except it's a step further. It's a really nice program. Well, it's a few steps further, actually, because Audacity is just freeware. But I've been working on some loop projects recently, but nah. Uh, just do voice. Hell. And then just label it. Sweep it in. We'll just call it an example for now. And then, because I really haven't done it this way, but, oh, here, female basic. Uh, we don't need that track, so delete that track. 
and oh sweet it's already got my uh, Logitech USB headset so monitors off recording level I guess that's all set all you really gotta do is just record it and that would be that button down here hopefully I'll just edit edit that last part out cuz that was just epic fail uh... okay hold on alright so it should be recording my voice uh... like I said there's a reverb uh... some sort of reverb the last time I played through this so let's see if it works now alright so it'll keep running just press spacebar and let's play it back alright so it should be recording my voice uh... like i said there's a reverb hmm maybe if i had it on no effects that might be even better but anyway let's not try that cause you know Anyway, let's <clears throat> just say you want to edit. Hmm, interesting. Here you go. Let's just say you want to edit these audio tracks into different episodes. Split. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Excellent. All right. Now, basically what this happens, you can just pretty much separate it like that. And apparently it's on the same track, but you could just move it. Hmm. Interesting. But yeah, hopefully <coughs> there's some type of way where you can import these as one individual MP3 at a time. Or maybe what you can do when you're recording live is just... Um, I know it was a bit of a pain in the ass to do, but for like every like 10 minutes and 40 seconds or so, which would pretty much be an episode, you end your recording, and then you just press pause and let it process into an MP3, and then you could just edit out the standstill recording and then continue when you uh, do another track. I think that's what you gotta do. Yeah, that that would make sense, I guess, because... If you can't cut it, I mean, it's all going to still be one MP3, and that's just going to be a bit of a problem here. So, Normally what you want to do is save and fill out the information that you want, and then it will import the MP3 into iTunes, and then you could just import the MP3, or wait, no, you'd have to do share. Hold on. Wow. And then you can just do... Well, you could do a whole bunch of stuff. You can export sign to disk. Uh, yeah, but it can pretty much only go to iTunes. But then again, you could just import the track from iTunes into your iMovie and then sync it up that way instead of recording after. So that's pretty much how you do it, I guess. Yeah, don't save. And that is the magic of GarageBand. Really very... Well, it's a very nice program, anyway. Ugh. All right, so let's do some more iMovie stuff. And we are back here in Space One. Now, pretty much, this is pretty much it. I mean, the events are your raw captured footage, and the projects are your episodes. And then you can see that all of them are labeled. And you can do a couple of things from here, which is very 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 nice features to have. You can either do share media browser and then of course I won't select medium because it's already been processed because if you can see these squares these have already been processed over here and pretty much what you can do is format it to a medium format so it can be available for YouTube and what that will do, since YouTube's uh, space for their videos expanded since I first started LPing, uh, to 2 gigabytes, I believe, for one video, it's pretty amazing. But pretty much what happens, uh, it'll convert it to YouTube, it'll only be like 100 megabytes or so. And what will happen, YouTube will interpret uh, this as an M4A, or M4V rather, 
and that will qualify for high quality. So you know that little HQ button that you like to push on my uh, videos now? Um, I pretty much found this out later when uh, YouTube's limits expanded. So pretty much, uh, yeah, that will uh, definitely be an HQ. Uh, I still have yet to get rid of the black bars on the sides. I think it just imports like that. I don't think there's anything I can really do concerning that. 